Hello, welcome to Ekideo, where we train future civil and structural engineer. Today, I will be showing you how to add a wind brazing for a steel structure used in Bota structure software. And also, I will also show you how to add a pull line, as you can see it here, a pull line for also a steel structure. Okay, now looking at this right now, this is a simple um, warehouse building, as you can see it here. And also it has a different level as you can see it here when you can see this level right now this has a different level and also it, it also have um, a staircase platform as you can see it here on this side also but for today I will just show you how to add uh, a wind brazing for a steel structure and also um, these these steeple lines also for for this stick structure using Pota structure software. So right now, what I'll do right now to first of all add your steel brazing. The reason why I'm um, doing this video is because of the comments I'm having from most of the subscribers that they want to know how to add um, a steel brazing and also um, steeple lines for steel structures. So right now, to add a steel brazing right now, first thing to do right now is to first of all go to your story zero zero. You can see it here, and then click on this place sorry click on story 01 and then click on this icon called steel brace right now or you can also see it here also on this place called steel member and then click on steel brace right now now once you click on steel brace right now next to do right now is to now click on the two members where you want to insert your steel brace looking at this right now you can see how this steel brace is being how this wind them um, how this wind brazing sorry is being is being um, inserted so right now i'll just go right now and click at this place right now I'll click on this bin right now and select this bin also this bin here also to now have my um, wind brace just like this so dialog box will appear right now once you've selected that that to remember the first thing to do right here is to first of all click on this place right now and select your size of your steel member so right now i'll be using um i'll be using european no so i'll click on the code which i want to use you can see the european no you also have uk you also have us but i'll click on european no and then go to my angle lion as you can see it here angle lion and then click and I'll, i want to use angle lion 80 by 80 by 10. so i'll click on 80 by 80 by 10 thickness now click on what select and then i'll click on what um okay now i'll leave every other thing here as default all these things here as default because they are they are for me they are okay so all i just did was, to, was just to select my size of my steel here and then i'll now go and click on what okay right here so you can now see that we have successfully inserted our first steel brace as you can see it here so this is how to insert a steel brace right now so since you have already done the first setting right now to insert the next steel brace on this other panel on this area what you just do right now is just click on this place again which is the which is this brace and then select the two members which I want to select this beam and also this beam here so I'll go right now and select this beam first and then go again right now and select this beam here and then this levels appear since I've already done my settings here I'll just go right now and click on what okay and then you just see there right now okay so you can see there right now how this thing is being um how this wind brace is being inserted right now so right now again right now i will now go right now to gonna insert my pole lines these pole lines here i will gonna insert these pole lines for this for on upon this upon this steel truss right now so right now i'll go right now and click on my pole lines so i go right now and click on this place called pole lines right now so once i click on pole lines right now and then I'll be asked to select two trusses as you can see it here. They say pick two trusses for the insertion of, of the of the members. So I'll click on the first file, click on this first truss right now, and then click at this other truss again right now. And then a dollar box will appear right now. Once the dollar box appear right now, first thing to do right now is to select your is to select your pull line size. I'm also using UPN, which is um I'm also using EU. So I'll go right now, I'll click on the code on to use EU and then go to and choose on my pole line. I want to use UPN for my size of pole line. So I'll go right now, click on UPN and then select my and then choose the size. For this, for this, since this is simple structure, I want to use a UPN size of 80. So I'll just click on 80 there and then click on what select right now. And then I'll go and right now and click on OK. In my next video, I'll be showing you more about these settings. But for now, this is, these are all okay right now. 
I'll say to leave this place at okay. In my next video, I will show you how to uh, select order all these ones. But for now, for a for a simple structure, I think this is the only setting they want to do right now. So right now again, right now, I will now go again right now, click on what okay just now, and then you can see that we have successfully set our steeple line as you can see there right now. Okay, as you can see there. So again, I'll go again right now to also go and insert again for this other side again. So I'll click on this place right now again, cut the line right now. And I'll be asked to now select the two trusses. I'll select the first truss here and also the second truss here right now. Dialog box appears right now as you can see it here. In my next video also, I will also show you about this loading right now because there are ways for you to load the for, for you to load those your pull lines where you can now add the 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 weight of the snow or the weight if we can add uh let me say snow load and we can also add um the weight of the of um of the roofing sheet so there are there are there are, there are also other loads that you add so in my next video i will i will show you all that but for for this video this is just how to insert and how to um choose your members so i'll just go right now and click on this also okay and then you can see that that now we now have now we have our um pull lines right now inserted right now now the next thing to do right now is to now begin to um create a steel connection between this pull line and this truss and also create a steel connection between this between this wind wind brazen and also to these steel beams so also we are we are, now we will be going over to what they call portal steel details so right now we have come to the end of this of this video for today but in my next video i'll be showing you how to create all these connections we are we will have to use our portal steel to now begin to connect now begin to create our bolts and not connection for all these steels for all these steels members okay so people before you go if you have not um subscribed to my channel ekidel i would say you should click on the subscribe button so you don't miss um, all these videos we now be performing these steel connections and also we were we, we are also going to, going to um perform the foundation design for this for this steel structure which we are going to use a pedestal to also design for this fund for this steel structure um foundation okay so thank you so much for staying with me to the end of this video and also if you have any comment regarding what i have done today i would say you should just click on the on the on the comment down below and i will reply you um based on what you have asked okay so thank you and god bless you okay